And we start with breaking news tonight. A 10 newly released body camera video from Aurora Police is giving us new insight into the moments before Elijah McLean's August death. Now, someone called police to report McLean as a suspicious man wearing a ski mask and waving his hands. The 23 year old was walking home from a convenience store. His family said he wore the ski mask because he was anemic and was often cold. Police stopped him while he was walking. They say he was resisting arrest, so they put him in a carotid control hold and he passed out. And then when paramedics arrived on scene, they chose to administer the sedative ketamine, something Aurora Fire says is standard protocol around our region. Stop. Stop. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. Stop, dude. All right. Just drive it right behind his ear if he fights, all right? Now, Aurora police insist they are not the ones who requested the use of ketamine. It was Aurora paramedics. McLean went into cardiac arrest on his way to the hospital. He died six days later. And according to an autopsy, the coroner could not determine how McLean died and wouldn't rule out homicide at the hands of Aurora PD, but added it may have been physical exertion. The Aurora, or excuse me, the attorney representing the McCallan family says, McLean family says they were not aware of tonight's press conference and calls this surprise Friday night press conference another example of Aurora doing its best to keep Elijah's family and the community in the dark. Aurora police say the officers were put on leave and they are back on the job. The department is still looking into use of force in this case.